I don't need a lot to make a leaf. You just need little balls of, of gum paste to make a leaf. Let's make a few of them. To make a leaf, it's really very simple. For this, we're going to use a couple of different tools. Um, to start with, I'm going to take a piece of 22 gauge wire. We're going to need two of these to make four leaves. I'm not going to put a hook on the end of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove this wire right inside the ball, about two thirds of the way into the ball. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want it to be well buried into that, into that leaf. In order to get it to look like a leaf instead of a ball, I'm going to gently flatten this down with my finger. <coughs> Take one of my handy dandy rolling pins. I'm going to dust it just a little bit to make sure it doesn't stick to my rolling pin. And we're just going to roll this out gently until it's thin enough so it actually starts to resemble a leaf. From there, I'm going to take a leaf cutter. This is a leaf cutter. It looks just like a rose leaf. And we're going to cut the leaf shape with the leaf, with the leaf cutter. And uh, that gets us the serrated edge that you would expect from a rose leaf. And then we're going to take one of our molds, one of our leaf molds. And I'm going to take this gently and place it in line with the, with the, uh, the center of the leaf on the center of this mold. So the center it represents the vein in the center of the leaf. Got to kind of center things up. And we're going to go ahead and just gently place this on top. Give it a little press. Oh, I'm a little off center. I don't know if you can see that from here. But it is, you know, it's got a nice texture to it. Let's go ahead and do that again. I think when I first did my press with my leaf, my leaf cutter, I ended up with, um, I ended up bending the wire. Let's try that again. I want to get that off center. Again, the idea is that the leaf, uh, that, the, that the, the wire is good and embedded into that leaf so it doesn't come loose and nothing affects uh, the quality of the illusion that you're trying to create. I'm going to gently tear away the excess here. Let's press that out of there. We'll keep it lined up. There we go. Nice clean leaf. You know, looks just like the real thing. And for those on the sky cam, you can see it has pretty natural looking veins in it. You know? It's about as natural as you're gonna get. You know. Did you get that um, moldy thing? The mold I got from Global Sugar Art. Yeah. I put that website up here on the board several times now, but globalsugarart.com and uh, they also sell these uh, at other cake decorating places. Uh, you might even find knaves might carry it up in Mount Vernon. Yeah. I know Nisa is one of my former students, so she uh, she would want one of these. I know she loves this leaf this leaf uh, mold. So what about like they have rose makers? So you don't actually make rose makers? <laughs> yeah. they actually rose awesome. makers. Well, there are special cutters that you can buy. Um, special cutters that are just designed for roses. What they do is they cut out five petals for you, and then you it helps shorten the process a little bit. But the reality is, the way we do it is just about as fast. So, yeah, they're they're really neat people at Nave. Definitely, they're actually helping my cousin start decorating things. Nisa is very talented. She was in my class uh, a year and a half, two years ago, I think two years ago, and she's uh, really got a good she's got good skills, you know. And being part of that part of that family business, she's uh, I'm sure you know. 
adding her, a lot of her contributions and things she learned in this class, but also things that she's learned on her own. And she's do, doing a good job. So I'm going to make a couple leaves. That's a big cutter. Let's go with a smaller cutter. This is a little tiny leaf cutter. And uh, the idea here is to vary the size of the leaves because after all, does a plant have all the same size leaves? No. So why would we want to have all the same size leaves? We want to kind of, you know, kind of change it up a little bit. So I'm going to change it up by just changing the size a little bit. If for some reason your leaves are having a, are chronically sticking to your mold, that's not a problem. Take a little bit of corn starch, dust your mold, put your leaf in there. And um, yes, you do get corn starch all over your leaf, but remember after it's fully dry, you take a dry paintbrush and just brush it and it comes right up. It's just corn starch. So, um, that will work just fine. And I'll set those aside to dry. So, the other thing, the last thing we're going to make is, is some cell buds for our roses. And we need to do this.